W-E-R-W Real College Radio This is Titus Andronicus This is Marilyn Manson, you're listening to W-E-R-W Yo, what's up, this is Steve Hill Hey, this is Jamie from downtown Hey, this is DJ Irwin Hey, this is Dominique Pruitt Hey, what's up, this is Zach from Cayucas You're listening to W-E-R-W Real College Radio W-E-R-W Real College Radio W-E-R-W here at Syracuse University. For all of our people tuning in, you're actually going to be listening to something extremely special. We are going to be recording our um, Artist Spotlight series episode live here with Bad Cello. Bad Cello. Bad Cello. So how did you get your start, Zeno? Um, I've been playing for at least five or six years. Um past maybe three years I started taking this project seriously just doing stuff on my own but I've always been playing and writing gotcha okay and you're from the Utica area yes grew up in Utica yeah I also noticed that you uh, I was looking at your like shows list of shows that you played and you were playing a lot of shows this past year in 2012 was that part of a tour or yeah you kind of just playing with other bands uh, Um, other friends I I went on a tour um, in April for like three and a half weeks. Went went down to Atlanta, Georgia, and, and back. It was a good time. Um, so a bunch of shows then, and then some here and there. And then I also play in a band, Bad Sound, um, and we had a couple tours last year too. So trying to trying to stay busy. Is Bad Shallow a side project for you? Then? Um, it's like solo. Solo okay. project, and then Bad Sound is like me and three other guys, and we all write together, and that's like a whole nother animal. Now, do you do music full time, or is it something you do part time? Because I feel like when you're going on tour a lot, yeah, it's, it's definitely like a hundred percent commitment. This that... is this is a recent full time kind of deal for me. Um, I dropped out of college uh, the beginning of last fall, 2011. And uh, just been working part time and trying to give everything I can to the tunes. To the tunes, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> How would you describe your your sound? I don't know. I I strive to write pop songs that um, that challenge me when I write them. Okay. Well, however that comes off. Comes off. You know, okay. I don't know. <laughs> What's your your process like in writing a song? Um, usually, I'll take some words that I had written sometime before, and then uh, sit down and try to write music to them. So I I talk with a lot of people about writing. A lot of people do it, you know, music first. So I'm trying to try that out now, but usually it's words first then music. And you released a 12-track album titled yes. Takes. Can you talk a little bit about that and what the process was in putting that together, releasing that and touring right. and promoting that? Right. Um, I started working on that um, October of last year, um, a year from last October, um, right around when I stopped going to school. Um, and I worked on it. I like wrote and recorded for a while I think it was like a 10 month kind of project and then um you know had it uh my friends at Double Double Whammy this really cool cassette label in New York in purchase uh helped put it out and um you know been trying to tour and play shows behind it did a couple little tours and um I'm actually it's getting it's just about done being remixed and remastered because um, the initial mixes I did myself and they're like, eh, yeah. but I got I got a real pro of a guy to help me out. So it's sounding a lot cooler. And then I uh, got some newer stuff, too. So do you write and produce all of your songs or does someone else produce it with you or what's what's that like? I, I guess I, I would I guess I write and produce all of them. Yeah. Yeah, at least for this, for this, for this particular okay. project. 
I'm I'm just curious. How how did your parents like take you dropping out of school? Was that like a they was were, that like something coming, or is that just something that kind of that you thought about? And you're it, like, oh, I think it's time. I think everyone saw it coming. Okay. Um, <laughs> and they were really supportive, um, okay. which was cool. And they still are. It's been over a year. They said they'd give me a year, they and it, a year. it's been over a year, and they're still, you know, behind me, which is really great. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So it's cool. cool. Yeah, it's Very a compromise. Cool. Are you currently playing um, any shows anywhere, or are we? Are you anticipating um, any other shows coming up? I guess I'm playing Friday at a, a house show, house party, uh, Ackerman. on Ackerman this Friday, like okay. two days from now, I guess. <laughs> I, I just found out about it today, but, you know, if you want to party, I'll be there. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And you performed at our launch party for the station. Is that the launch party? Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah? Right? But, it was bad, but it was bad sound. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. Yes. Bad yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, that was great. That was a good time. Good time, see? So who would you like to collaborate with in the future? Who? What's who, hmm. Who's in your dream team? Man. If you were to put a team together to create your next EP album, who Ooh. would you want uh, as part of your team? Um, That's tough. I've never thought about that. Um... Hmm. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not going there. I can't go there. It's too obvious. Um, I don't know. Man, I mean, there's so many people, I guess. All right. Because <laughs> you played retrograde like a minute ago, so that's like all that's going in my head. I'm a big nerd for... James, James Blake, Blake at the moment, but um, um, I don't know. I feel like I have to meet them you have to meet first. Them first, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's so many people doing great things, but I feel like I I've already met a bunch of awesome people. Like everyone involved at Double Double Whammy. Like all those dudes are just the best. You know, my dream right now is just to, like, live near them so I can just hang out and, uh, okay. you know, okay. do stuff Do stuff with those <laughs> dudes. So, you know, I mean, to, like, I don't know. Any any plans then to move down to, to Brooklyn? Oh, uh, I don't know. Hopefully. To those guys. If I can get <laughs> the cash. Get the cash. Got to yeah. work on that. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I understand. I feel you there. I feel you. So we will actually have you play your first song. Okay. And um, I'll have you kind of introduce your first song and talk a little bit about the song process for that song. Or okay. the background information. So okay. That's better. Um, this one, it's off of takes. And I um, wrote it about this one time I was looking at a girl, I guess. That's uh that's it right there right there The first time I looked at you it's funny found myself wondering why I don't I look her in the I tried to turn but it didn't feel right Left gaze lovers in last time And so you talked a little bit about that the first time you saw this girl. Any other background <laughs> information on that? Any I don't <laughs> know. I feel like a lot of the stuff I write is pretty personal. Um, and I'd rather people find ways, hopefully, to relate to it in their own way without having explicit sort of 
ideas of what it's about. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I mean, some of it's obvious, but gotcha. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. So we have you in here in the studio. I'm playing on your Roland here. <laughs> What's your normal like setup when you when right. you do a show? Yeah, this uh, this is the first time I've done something this stripped down on this keyboard. But um, lately, I've got another keyboard and a sampler and a controller. So there there's some beats and um, like little little triggered things that I'm hitting and you know it's more beat typically. Okay. Um, more fun trying to have more fun <laughs> trying to have more fun okay yeah okay. well it's working like for you like i like the this oh. acoustic thing that we're doing i Thanks. like it. it brings out the sound it brings out the voice thank you very cool with your project here your kind of solo project with um bad cello uh, are you guys doing anything with bad sounds coming up or is do you kind of we're flip working back on and it. forth Right. Yeah, I was juggling the two for a while. Um, we, like, recently, like, had, like, an exciting opportunity to take a pretty cool deal, but it just, like, wasn't the right time, I guess. We have to, like, within the band, figure out what it is we want to do and how we want to go about it. So, so it's, like, you know, it's possible, but right now we're kind of, like, taking it easy. I think we're going to go into the studio in a couple of weeks and record. Okay. Because we've got some new stuff, which is pretty pretty fun. Cool. So, yeah. And so I noticed, of course, looking at the name Bad Sound. Sure. And the name Bad Cello. There's right. a lot of bad in there. How, right. how did these names come about for well, the band and for you? Um, when Bad Sound started, it was me and our drummer Jake and... We, the four of us in the whole band, have been playing together since like junior high, high school. So, um, but um, when we started Bad Sound, it was just the two of us kind of trying to find a way for us to play songs that we'd written, like from our respective solo projects. So, his is High Sound, mine's Bad Cello. So, put it together and it was yeah, Bad Sound. Stuff. And then, you know, after a little while, we were just writing new stuff and then we got the other two guys in and now we're all writing together so it's a totally different animal now but at first it was kind of emerging of those two okay cool so i was like oh this guy's probably really obsessed with with the word bad or something like bad sound bad (laughs) cello no it uh chose me cool it chose chose you are there some artists that you're kind of looking out for right now any upcoming artists that you're like oh that's awesome I'm honestly really bad at listening to music and keeping up with new music. So, like, for whatever reason, I heard Retrograde, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is awesome. But, um, <laughs> like, anything else new, like, totally probably going over my head. Um, I listen mostly to my friends at this point, which is, like, new. Um, but it's really cool having so many peers that are making really awesome music so i spend a lot of time listening to people i know but um i guess uh something else that i don't know (laughs) (laughs) okay okay (laughs) we'll now launch you into your second song okay i'll Um, try to do a longer one W E R W Real song. College yeah. Radio This song is it's the first track on the album takes. It's called Difficult Love.
call How can I wait? Your name is all Our way was a difficult Oh When you call, how can I say I'm not in love? But sometimes things change. Our way was a difficult love. Oh. Awesome. Thanks. I like that you can have that in the background. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. So you just heard the second song from Bad Cello here. And that was Difficult Love. Difficult Love? Yes. Okay, cool. Just yes. want to make sure I got that right. Oh, sure. Cool. Awesome. So, um,. Now we're going to tell people how they can find you. So right. your music is available on Bandcamp. Yes. Um, Badcello.bandcamp. And uh, there's a Facebook page. Facebook. Facebook.com slash Badcello. There's a, there's a Twitter. Twitter. I need to start using it. I think I've only tweeted four times. <laughs> but uh, I'll not get a, on it. Not a fan of Twitter? No, I, I have a personal one. But I just you know, I dedicated a new one. To, to bad cello, to bad but cello. Gotcha. You know, I need to like. Instagram. I I have an Instagram. There's one oh. photo. <laughs> <laughs> so bad cello on Instagram. I mean, yeah. There you go. There Come you follow go. me, I guess. Awesome. So you just heard from Zeno, um, or better known as Bad Cello, here in the studio. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here in the studio. We appreciate it. Thank you for for, for performing as well. Good times, good times. Great times. Tired of regular radio! <laughs> You're listening to WERW! Real college WERW. Real college radio. Month of October, in love with the sister. Life left me wondering, in love with her brother. I had your picture across my head, and your tattoo on my neck. It's best it wasn't on my wrist, to hold a gun and stop giving a shit. In the month of October, I stopped living again In the month of October I stopped living again In the month of October Your lips swollen and red It's dripping down from my chest Life left me wondering It's best she didn't have my kid To pretend to not give a shit of October, I took a shot in the neck. In the month of October, I tried to forget you. Again. 